Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where it is currently bright and early in the morning. Well, not bright, but uh, early in the morning. And uh, that's fitting because we need to get to work. We have a lot of science to collect from orbital flights. And so that is what we're going to do. Contains locked or invalid parts. What? Missing part decoupler 2. Now there was a KS- oh, okay, this here, I think. There was a KSP patch between episodes, so uh, that might have something to do with it. I'm gonna guess it does. Okay, do we have any additional science we can put in here? I don't think we do. So let's go ahead and launch this. Uh, I should check contracts. Moon flyby. Okay. Uh, we're not going to do that quite yet, though. Okay, so we need to do several orbital flights yet. We're still kind of in the, I guess you could say, the Gemini stage. And that's pretty much what we need to do for right now. Well, look at this. Jeb has the ability to lock prograde and retrograde. Hmm, okay. Actually, I changed my mind here because with Jeb having that ability, I feel like we should now be flying Valentina and get her that ability as well. That'll be important later on. So let's go ahead and swap out Jeb, and we are going to bring Valentina. Okay. So this is going to be uh, awkward again because... It's super nice when the Kerbals are able to hold attitude, but that's unfortunately not going to be the, th the, the thing that happens. But that's just because Valentina needs some XP. So let's go ahead and launch this. Thrust to weight is maybe a little on the low side early on. If we add anything else to this, we may need to add side boosters with like SRBs. But we're going to get a mystery goo, or rather a material study in the upper atmosphere, I believe. And we're just going to keep doing orbital flights for the time being until we get a material study in the water. That's kind of the goal. Okay, we're approaching 200 meters per second. Let's go ahead and start our gravity turn a little bit here. Don't want to go too far because I don't want to flip the rocket. We don't really have any attitude control, so that's a thing. Of course, in doing the gravity turn, we wouldn't want any attitude control. Now, the one problem doing this without mods is we don't have the ability to see the apoapsis from that screen. So I guess I'll just have to do it from the map screen. Let's remain at roughly 45 degrees here until our apoapsis gets a bit higher. How's our fuel doing? Okay. The answer is our fuel is doing okay, but not great. We're about to run out. Apoapsis is not quite in space either. So we're going to actually have to burn a little bit of our second stage right now in the atmosphere, which is unfortunate. But we can cut it. Actually, I'm going to burn slightly longer. Maybe now. Yeah, now we can cut it. Excellent. Okay, let's head to the horizon. We will be doing a horizontal burn in just a moment. Okay, we don't have any sort of estimation for when we will be reaching the apoapsis, which is what I usually use for these burns, because we have not upgraded mission control. We maybe should... I mean, getting into orbit without it is easy enough, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and start the burn 
once we reach, I think, 65 kilometers. So we are at 61, 2, 3, 4, Ignite. And this is all just doing it purely by gut. I don't have any particular reason for doing it then. Looks like that's a little early. Apoapsis was getting further away, I think. But hey, we are in space, and we can do a material study in space. Fantastic. I'm going to let this apoapsis get slightly closer. There. I think that's pretty decent. And we're just going to do some low orbit flights for right now. Later on, we will graduate to high orbit, but that's after we get a splashdown. So, like, one more flight with the Science Junior. Okay, our periapsis is not quite where we need it to be. It'll get there real quick, though. I'm going to go ahead and cut engines right now and just burn at the apoapsis. Anywhere else right now is slightly wasteful. How much fuel do we have left? We have enough. Barely, but we have enough. Eventually, we'll graduate to T-800s. Do we have T-800s unlocked? I feel like we do. I'll have to check at the VAB. Okay. Burning. Okay. Hapoapsis is still pushing ahead. So we still need to wait a little bit here. We also, next time, should upgrade our spaceport complex so we can EVA report in space. That'll be a handy th Okay, let's do that burn there. Ah, we're still slightly early on that. Okay. A lot easier with maneuver nodes. I'm gonna go ahead and warp ahead until we're at the apoapsis. Our peri is still in the atmosphere, technically, so we want to raise that. There we go. Reasonably circular. Excellent. And Valentina is in orbit, and we still have 700 meters per second, actually. That's pretty decent. I'm going to go ahead and immediately start lowering our periapsis, though. There's no point in staying in space right now. Okay, let's get this down to about... Uh, we'll go for 20. There we go. Excellent. Are we going to do a re-entry burn? Well, there's not really a point. I think, honestly, we just jettison. And then we can go ahead and warp until we are in the Atmo. There we go. Hello. Get to retrograde. There we go. Okay, hopefully we'll be able to hold attitude here. It was a little awkward last time. Re-entry burden would get us to the ground faster, but it's also a little bit less safe. Oh, hello. Did this not save? I thought we changed our parachutes. Like, I specifically remember changing the parachutes. Did I not save it? I may not have saved that. Interesting. Okay, we're drifting a little bit. I think after this flight... Or maybe the next Valentina will be able to hold attitude retrograde, which would sure be nice. Of course, without MechJeb, we don't have smart ASS.
which does make things a little bit more complicated, at least in the early game. Like, most of those things you get the ability to do later on over here. There are a couple that you don't, like Horizon Plus and Horizon Minus just doesn't become a thing, and you have to manually do it. Um, is there any others? Like, well, I, I think just up and down don't become things. Like, just general directions like that doesn't really become a thing. Okay, how are we doing on our periapsis? Okay, we're still about 10 kilometers up. That's going to uh, go down very quickly, but we've got plenty of air between us and the ground. Theoretically, anyway. I'm not going to physics warp this without the ability to hold attitude, though. That was a mistake last time. Did we physics warp that? I can't even remember. That was a session ago. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, it was yesterday that I recorded that, but uh, that was that was altogether too long ago. Maybe we should have targeted 15 or 10 kilometers, so this is a bit of a slow re-entry. But at the same time, it's also a safe re-entry. We should be hitting atmospheric effects very soon. Our speed is not increasing or decreasing right now. Oh, our speed is decreasing. Fantastic. I'm just attempting to hold attitude. That's the only thing I care about right now. Where are those atmospheric effects? Because that's when things start getting dicey. If only we had the 10 meter heat shield. <laughs> the thing is basically a parachute. I love it. Okay, come on. We gotta slow down about 1.5 kilometers per second before we hit the ground. Arrow braking will do the job, but it's not exactly the fastest process. And we are targeting at least one more orbital flight after this that is basically identical to this flight. And then there's going to be one going into a higher orbit, and then we're going to go for a moon flyby. That's kind of the launch cadence that we're going for, I guess we could say. Okay, we are entering the dangerous portion of this right now. Just attempting to hold attitude. Okay, we might be starting to hit a bit of a yikes with regard to attitude here in a moment. If we lose attitude right now, it's a huge problem. So I'm very focused on maintaining attitude. Come, no, no, okay. We are slightly losing attitude, nope. That is not allowed, nope. No. Not right now. We might lose the Science Junior as is. Oof. Attitude's gone. Okay. Can we get back? Nope. Okay. Exciting stuff. Rip Attitude. Okay. I think we're still fine. We've lost enough speed. I didn't collect the experiments, though. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, that was actually a failed flight, then. Maybe Valentina gets the XP. I'm not reverting this. I'm not going to be reverting any flights. Unless there's, like, a bug, or unless it's a test flight of some type. But that will be, that will be stated beforehand. So, we, uh... 
I, I, I just, I didn't collect the Science Junior data. That was my own fault, 100%. Okay, well, Valentina lives. And uh, the other major thing, oh, hello, we can crew report this. Collect all. Well, we get some science out of it anyway. Unless we go to a two-person module, though, that means that we are going to have to do another launch. There's no real way around that. Yeah, okay. Well, that was a bit of a failure, but hopefully Valentina has enough XP to uh, get the first star here to provide assistance in flying. That would sure be nice. Hopefully then she would be able to hold attitude with the next couple of flights. We did get her orbital, so I think that'll get her the XP she needs, but we'll find out here in a moment. I can't believe I didn't store the science data. I'm, I'm really kicking myself for that right now. Feels bad. Like, I never make that mistake. Okay, here we are. We can crew report at the Highlands, and then we can EVA and crew report, or rather EVA report the Highlands. There we go. So we're going to get some science from it at least. The real question is, did Valentina rank up in her XP? She did. Fantastic. Okay, so we did gain 9.1 science, I guess. So it wasn't a complete failure, and Valentina ranked up. We can grab stability, which, I mean, aerodynamic nose cones and radial decouplers are going to be an important thing later on, but right now, not so much. World first return to the surface. What? We already did that. Okay, whatever. However, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to try that launch again. However, while I'm thinking about it, we got to fix these parachutes. And this time, I'm going to hit the save button. Excellent. Subscribe for more, and I will see you all next time.